Hi, in this slide I want to get across a concept of there really are no dead-end jobs. Um, I think a lot of times people think, well, you know, I'm driving a truck or I'm working in a warehouse and I'm doing what I'm doing and it hasn't changed much in a while, so therefore this is just all there is. And I think that that's a lack of imagination, not so much on the person in the job, but the person who is designing the job and thinking of the value added that can be added into the job. Um, now, there are certain environments where, uh, if you go down here, when Henry Ford designed his production line, he said, we're going to make every job so simple and so repetitive that you can, you can visually show people how to do it and then, you know, watch them and, and give immediate feedback with a kick in the pants. Because when he first set this up, there were over 100 different languages, uh, immigrant languages being spoken on the floor of his factory, and all these people were illiterate in their native language. So he had a bit of, a, of an education problem. So all I really could do is to try to make the job as, as simple as possible to fit the educational challenge he had. McDonald's came along in modern times and, and sort of take the, took the same approach. Um, and I'm not saying that that's good or bad, it just is, and, and they've done very well with it, and, uh, and, and, and my hat's off to them, really. Uh, but there, you know, it's French fried automation and what you get is what you what you get. I mean, the French fries are going to be the same in 40,000 places around the planet. Uh, and that's part of their brand. Whereas distributors, uh, particularly if they have outside salespeople, their residual niche they have left is selling, you know, the 10% of the customers or 50% of the volume in, in a channel who need some sort of customized, semi-customized precision supply chain solution to take care of their needs. Um, and so distributors are inherently very flexible as far as what they can stock and how they can kit and add value before the stuff gets delivered, how they deliver it, how they replenish it on site, et cetera. There are a lot of things that can go into that. Um, and uh, so the people in the box, the, the distribution location need to be uh, quite flexible uh, to do that and, and always do it you know, perfectly and on time. So, uh, so far, as we've been looking through that, we've talked a little bit about self-managing teams. And if we have self-managing teams and there are team incentives, then what happens is that you can't fool your peers. Everybody's in it together and everybody, there you start to have collective discipline. And if you have proper vision and feedback and make it a game and so forth, they feel like they have some control, then we're, we're assuming bottom-up self-organizing hobby energy and home economics are going to start to turn on. Um, that energy is going to be used for uh, continuously improving uh, all the metrics that go into uh, part two of the boundary system on the hexagon. Uh, we are going to put in learn and earn certification training programs because if we want to take care of surges going through the business and do it on a timely, accurate basis uh, or replace people fill in for people when they're sick or on vacation. We need to have interchangeable, automatic, pilot, you know, habitual, I can do this, tens um, that, that can hop in there. So we, we have to be ten at a lot of different things if we're going to have consistently great service all year round uh, through thick and thin. So we start to realize uh, that really there's a lot of value added that can be added into the jobs that exist in distribution. And they, in turn, can add a lot more value added in the demand replenishment solutions we can sell to our biggest, best customers. Um, so let's disabuse the idea that there are any dead-end jobs and that all these jobs can have a lot more value added and a lot more mastery expertise engineered into them uh, for the betterment of really all stakeholders in the long run. So there it is. Uh, we've got lots of upside opportunities in all the jobs at our place. Thank you.